In the last episode, if you missed it, we bought 200 gyros, which are these kind of ridiculous looking delivery bikes that you can get pretty much only in Japan. I'm not sure if they came out in other countries, but they have 50 cc motors, so they belch out white smoke, which is horrible for the environment and not very uh, smiled upon here in California. However, we did come up with an idea that we wanted to prove to the world that even in this vast, huge country like the USA, you could use a scooter to do a trip. So. The first thing we had to do was actually fix the things. Now, what we found out was mine needed a whole lot of work, a new carburetor, a new battery, and all that kind of stuff. But Winston managed to get his done pretty quickly. But then the next task was to get it from his house all the way to the workshop where we were gonna fix mine. And that was about 20 miles away. Bad move. Enjoy. Because we were waiting on parts for my scooter, uh, Winston decided to fix his first, so he took it off the ladder out of the truck when the Japanese guy dropped it off and uh, got to work. These bikes had been heavily abused, obviously being used as some kind of delivery vehicles in Japan. And the first thing I like to do whenever I work on a vehicle, at least if I have the opportunity, is to clean it properly. And we've got years and years of grime and grease and oil all over the thing. You know, these are two-stroke engines. They are greasy and grimy. That's just the nature of the beast. There's a lot more smoke involved. But just in general, there was a ton of gunk, especially on my one because it's 10 years older than Seamilk's one, right? The solution to this is petrol and a toothbrush. So I went to work uncovering the secrets of this engine because it was so caked you couldn't even see what was going on. Now during all of this I noticed that the petcock on my one was leaking and of course this is not good because if you put any petrol into the tank or gas into the tank it just immediately leaks out of the broken petcock so I had to fix that and I managed to fix it with uh, some inventive crimping and a little bit of JB weld but that's all taken care of. The main point though was I wanted to see what I was working with here. One thing that really concerned me were the auto lube pumps. This is what mixes the two stroke oil with the petrol. And because I wasn't sure if it was working or not, I decided I'd play it on the safe side and pre-mix my own gas and two stroke oil. And then later on, figure out if the pump was working. I'm pretty sure she was like the main victim of the fattening. <laughs> really? Yeah. Which means she's probably cast well. It's like Luke wasn't handsome. No. You know. No, he's actually a very normal boy. Yeah. What's your new one, Mighty Max? Mighty Max. That was like a cartoon. It's Mighty Mouse. No, there was Mighty Max as well. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a 90s thing. You're too old. You're, too old. You're yeah. 40. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm Didn't not talking about top 40. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting the 40 to creep up on me like that. No, it's pretty effed up. It's messing up my brain. So that's my excuse. If I'm being lame at anything, I can just say, well, I'm 40. That's true. But then, like, the 50 year olds would be like, <laughs> I remember spring chicken. Spring chicken. Yeah. <laughs> this is the dialogue that's going into our gyro battery change. Yeah, exactly. I'm not cutting this. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. This is what we talk about. Yes, we do. Remember, red to red, plus is positive. Right. That's super simple. Anyone can do it. Uh, Very true. Nice to have a fresh battery. What are the chances it'll just start now? Because, I, I mean, I did get it working. Sure. And I had to kickstart it for like an hour to get okay. it working. So it was, the chances are low. Well, no, the thing is, it, once it gets working, then it's good. Oh, okay. Because it had been sitting for so long. Sure. All right. Ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That light. So wait, do we have indicators? We do. Look at that. That's oh. good news. Kind a little of bit of a horn. <laughs> like in two seconds. Yeah. That was in two freaking seconds. Awesome. It smells like it's got oil in it. Well, as long as you can see some white smoke. Yeah, you're good. Then we've got an oil in there. Very accurate smell. Yeah. Yeah, and you got your high beams and everything. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was easy. So, it seems like you have managed to make that run really well. I mean, it smokes like crazy. Yeah. But it's working. It seriously like choked the shit out of me. <laughs> but. What we have to do is actually get mine working if we're going to do a big trip. And we talked about this. We're actually thinking about doing a road trip on these things in America to prove 
that you can use America's like back road system yeah. to use some shit scooter and yeah, get wherever you I mean, this is not allowed on roads unless they have a bike path. Unless they have a bike path. But, but if we go on some crap garbage, non-highways or whatever, it should yeah. be fine. Sure. Anyway, that's what we're justifying. But yeah. in order to get to my bike, we actually have to get yours to the workshop. Yeah. It's uh, about 20 miles away. And it's 20 miles away. The reason we do is because we've messed with my engine so much that the hoses are in different places. So we have to copy yours because it mm -hmm. works well. Yeah. My carburetor just arrived. Sure. So we have to go get mine fixed. But 20 miles on a bike that doesn't meet the speed, speed, the speed limit requirements of the roads here in California. That thing does uh, 50 kilometers an hour. Kind of so what's that like 30, 28? Yeah, 30, maybe 32. <laughs> the speed limit is 35 the whole way. Well, we, yeah, that's okay. We're just gonna take back roads and try our best. Okay, well, wish us like 20 miles on this thing. Absolutely. All right, let's go. This is freaking ridiculous. I'm holding up everybody in traffic. Go, go, go around me, you dumbass. We clearly have a smoke laden. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Oh my god, we're holding up traffic. These poor people. But that thing, dude, that thing's gonna catch on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> dude is that thing on fire it's it's the covering the whole road <laughs> dude are you gonna make it that's it's life if you get in trouble you live you're living loose living loose <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I seriously feel like I have to put on this mask. This is getting outlandish. I gotta get over. <laughs> max, max speed. I am flooring this thing. Slide uphill, 40 kilometers an hour, awesome. Oh man, oh yeah, let's do this. 50, 50. Must look so ridiculous right now. Let's do a max speed run here. 50. Yes, 50, almost 55. Oh, that's all she's got. So you finally made it to the workshop. Be honest with me before I take mine out for the whole the whole uh, test run. How was 20 miles on that thing? It was awful. I had it pinned at full throttle the whole way, and it was a struggle. Honestly, though, the worst part is just how embarrassing it is. Not that you <laughs> not that you look ridiculous, but the cloud of smoke. People were just avoiding me and driving around as if I was on fire, and I don't know. People were taking photos and probably calling the cops. I don't know, but that wasn't very uh, fun. I, I do agree, like even just being the follow car, I thought that people were gonna call the fire department because it really looked like you set the entire road on fire. There were points where you couldn't even see the cars behind me. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing the EPA would send out their special agents just to track me down. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I gotta make sure that thing doesn't smoke or your one doesn't smoke before we take him out again. Yeah, good idea, we'll run the tank dry, I guess. But I feel, I feel like we should leave it up to the uh, patrons on patreon.com slash worthlesswhips to, uh, Tell us where to go, but please be kind. Please find <laughs> routes for us with back roads where we don't have to drive through major city centers. Yeah, and please don't send us to Alaska or something like that. Yeah, let's. we'll, we'll be realistic about it, but it, it's still going to be a pretty amazing journey. Um, and we're going to try to try to figure out a route that has a lot of interesting stuff on the way, so it's a proper adventure. But wish us luck. Uh, next episode, you'll see me take mine out, which is much worse shape. Um, we're going to have to throw some new parts on there and hope they work, yeah. first of all. And then number two, um, we're going to have to basically tell our wives goodbye for a little while and try to see if these 50cc two-strokes can go anywhere in the U.S. 
absolutely looking forward to it. 